Hey there, we are about to turn bottles into this menorah with Eden Share. Keep watching. Hi, I'm Nicole Farr from Darby Smart, an app where we make DIY easy and fun. I'm being joined by all my creative friends. Some are expert crafters and some are not. Get ready to make talk. So we haven't forgotten about Hanukkah. We've been saving it up. I'm with Eden Share. You know her from the middle, her show, and her new book, The Emotionary. And we are about to turn bottles into the cutest menorah. You ready? I was born ready. <laughs> I was born ready. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, Eden was born ready. She has a secret obsession with glue sticks. Uh, I was just saying before this, I literally, I go through like craft phases where I'll like make different things. I was into nail art for a while. And there was one, I can't remember what it was, but I had hot glue guns. And every so often I like will refresh my craft drawer. I'll be like, okay, I haven't used ribbon in a while. I gotta just like clear out, redo. I don't even know where a hot glue gun is, but I will keep glue sticks, like hot glue gun sticks, in my drawer till the day I die. <laughs> because I love them. Do you smell them? them? You know you're not supposed to smell them. I don't know what I like put it near my mouth, like the one place you're not supposed to put glue. Yeah. <laughs> They're just so soft, like the texture. I just want to like be with it always. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're going to start by using these moldings. We went to the hardware store, and they are so friendly, because every hardware store is so friendly. They cut these down for us. So they come that's, like this. That's so great. The sizes are down below in the comments, guys. So you can just like take the measurements to your hardware store. So we're gonna glue this piece mm -hmm. to these pieces. And we have to help each other. This is kind of yeah. like a two-man job. I to yes. And I've that's got what Hanukkah is all about. Teamwork. It's all about teamwork. Yeah. I've got this carpenter's glue and glue it to the outside like this. Yeah. So, so should we and we should put the glue on the short on the small one and glue it on not on yes. these long ones. Okay. Like boom boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, there we go. Everyone sings on my show. Because you attract it. Give me, give me like a beat. Can I? If I, I cannot sing. Yes, you can. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh wait a minute! I feel like that's the first time I've harmonized with someone. Right? Can we? Can you? Get the audience in here. Or this is never gonna get done. We're just gonna <laughs> Wait, this is gonna be picked up as like the next music video. Adam Sandler, watch out because here we go. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, let's great. just let it be. It. Yeah. And then I think we can glue our top piece on because it actually like won't connect to these. It's gonna connect to here. Okay, great. And this is the ugly side, which we are gonna make pretty. Boom. Okay. Great. So we should roll glue along the top. Okay. Yeah. You wanna roll? Yeah. Let's I'm gonna roll start. the glue. <laughs> Everything's roll the glue. Good. Oh, here we go. So tell me about Emotionary. I know, I know about it, but tell me more so they all know about it. Yes, it is a dictionary of words that don't exist for feelings that do. And this is actually a perfect show to be promoting this because I feel like we're gonna go on a journey of feelings just making this. It's gonna be a lot of like super excitement combined with like a little anxiety just like because I really want this to be good. Yeah. So it's like, oh my God, this is such a brilliant idea. I'm so excited, but I'm also a little, oh my God, I think I have a word for this. I'm, I did not, I really did not plan this. Da -da 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 -da. Skeptimism. Skeptimism. <laughs> which is skeptical plus optimism. Yeah. Or skeptimistic, which is just I can't remember the exact definition. I love skeptimistic. Right? Yeah. It's like you hope, you're hoping for the best and you expect it, but you're wary of it. I like this one. Cancelate, which is cancel plus elated, I think, or cancellated. It's cancellated. 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 It's cancel plus elation, which is um, the relief of plans that you were dreading falling through at the last minute. I, I know this, it's like, we were talking about this the other day. When you get that text at like three being like, still on for tonight, and you're like, yes! They are so trying to get out of the place. Yes, and exactly! And I am so down with that. And you're exactly. like, well, you know, if you if next Monday works better. Exactly! Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you find that your words come from like, so it's, it's emotions that you haven't been able to express but want to. Yeah. And now are they topic driven, like, you know, what inspires new words now that you have so many words? You have a whole dictionary. I do. I feel like they're personally topical. And mm -hmm. that like they keep coming from like the newer experiences I have, the more I'm like, wow, I can't believe I didn't have a word for that before. I was so like, what? 
I knew nothing. I was but a child. Uh, every every 20 minutes, I'm like, wow, what a child, what an idiot I was 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I can't but, believe. Yeah. Sometimes you just need confines in order to be creative. Kind of like this. If once you're given an assignment, like, okay, uh, menorah, then like all the creativity flows. Yeah, it flows. So like, I actually think there's, when you put constraints, that inspires creativity. Mm -hmm. I was just cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> Anytime I see someone lift a glass, it's like <laughs> there should be a word for that for over. I I both over hug and over cheers. Oh my god, non tact. Is that right? Non tact. The like yeah. The non. <laughs> the like wish. I don't know if it's non contact. It's the maybe it is just like the wish for like the unnecessary yeah, contact like, that like, both parties feel like they maybe have to do. And yeah, like, like yeah. when you're saying goodbye and you feel like you have to hug when neither one wants like nobody really wants to do that. Nobody wants to yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I've like been dabbing around these, but they they should dry for a little bit. So I think we should start making words. Whoa! Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. do it, do it. One sec, because I think people are gonna want to see what we're writing, and the camera is like here. So magic fingers. So we uh, we sent some stuff away from the craft table and we are going to play our game. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Here we about. go, here we go, here we go. Okay. So rules for the game, can I like write any word I want or should they be emotional type words? Can right. I write donut? Right, any word. One of my favorite words in the book is epiphanies, which is epiphany plus mayonnaise. Ooh, and it's yeah. the moment one realizes aioli is exactly the same as mayo. <laughs> I don't know if you've had that moment. If not, you're welcome. You just had an epiphany. I was just, sorry, I wasn't paying attention to you because I was thinking about <laughs> lemon aioli. <laughs> exactly. That's okay. Any word I want, and um, you said stream, stream of consciousness, so it's, like the first five words that come to my mind. First five, any, don't try to, yeah, just the first five words that come to your mind. If they're all food, if they're all hair supplies, if they're all like anything, go for it. I don't want to taint your stream, but. You do it. Okay, heads down, here we go. Do you want to pick your favorite, potential favorite word oh. from my list? This one's vibing. <gasps> oh, shoot. <gasps> I knew it. Would... Unicorn. Unicorn! Yes. I don't... <laughs> no, you don't understand. I have an obs. I love unicorns. Okay. And I want this one. Okay. Winded. Whoa. Oh. Okay. I'm feeling a little winded. Right. <laughs> okay. I have an idea of what I would do with unicorn and winded. Ooh. Okay. But, or should we? It, no. Teach me. Teach okay. me. Modern Shakespeare. I would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please stop. Stop. Um, okay. I would say unicorned. I don't. I'm not sure yet. Unicorned. But it's the um, overwhelm. The like. Feeling overwhelmed by the visual stimuli of unicorns. Oh my gosh! Right? I am unicorned. Right? Okay. Exactly. When I walked into the DIY Dreamatorium, I was unicorned. Exactly. Whoa! And I feel like it almost also could broaden out to just like anything super like creative or like whimsical, which I feel like this whole thing is. When you just are like, I have too many ideas. I'm unicorned. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm writing these on the side because these are going to go in my dictionary. Okay, you and it. So Hanukkah traditions, like we're let's make a word for the menorah. Okay. But will you help me because I'm I don't know any words to write down here. Okay. The biggest Hanukkah tradition is actually our tradition on Christmas, which is to be like just the classic like stereo, the like the Jewish thing of going out for Chinese food and. Oh, go I was to gonna a say movie. getting on an airplane because that's what my. Yes, family does. that too, a hundred percent. Yes, yeah, traveling. yes. Yes. Because it's so cheap. It's so cheap. It's so great. It's so great. Totally. Having Chinese food at the airport would be like maybe, and like watching a movie on the plane would be just like, that'd be the most. You're like have to do it. Your most celebrated Hanukkah tradition in your family goes down on Christmas in a Chinese restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Let's like, do this. Let's right? break, let's bring okay. out. So I'm going to, um, Bring in Magic Fingers. Okay, so we are back, Magic Fingers, with a dried stand um, and our bottles. Now, here's what I did on the side. I spray painted these, so it's faster, but but not kid friendly. Yeah. Right. So you yeah. get like They're not indoor friendly. Not yeah. indoor friendly. So you get a quick even coat. That's what I've got here. These spray painted ones, and I kept one out just so people can see us put a like final coat on this one with paint and we'll yeah. see how that looks too. And then I think like one way we thought about doing it was like with a ribbon on top. 
or do you like just like clean bottles on top? I feel like the clean bottles on top, like right now everything's white, but like it's all one sort of cohesive thing. And then we could, anyone could like paint this the top color, something different, like whatever they'd want. Yeah. To be. That could be purple. Mine would be purple, and there'd probably be some glitter somewhere on it. It'd be gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, so easy. So all these bottles came from Michael's. Um, purposely, like I didn't mention this even, but we selected them for their height, so they actually go in like a certain position. Okay. I know we need nine. I have no idea why you're gonna tell me that in a second. Okay. <laughs> but this is the middle one. The tall one? Yes, that's then, the shamash. That's the shamash. Yeah. And then you work um, pear-shaped bottles, mm -hmm. and then square bottles, pear shapes, and roundies. They're so aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> like that order is just like, I can imagine, it's, it really is like, it feels like chess. Where yeah. like everything just has its place. And everything is just like, oh yes, this does want to be, this wants to live there, and this does want to be next to it. It does, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're gorgeous. So yeah. I'm gonna let you start gluing these down, okay. placing your bottle like in your center, in my back pocket here, because I always roll with yes. glitter glue, glitter glue in my back pocket. So we've got this okay. and this. Um, if you want to add color. Um, okay, I know blue and silver is like Hanukkah, but do you have pink glitter glue? <laughs> We have everything here. Okay. Pink. Kind of. no, no, no. No. Okay. Wait a minute. We know we just have pink. We have green, purple, this like cool copper color. Um, I would love actually the copper color too. Okay. That'd be amazing. The world is your oyster. And you. these. There. Okay. Great. But if you want, if you actually want to start bedazzling, I can glue these down. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. I so you've been acting that. since you were eight. You were like I have. Annie. I mean, did you ever play Annie? No, in fact, we did who Annie. Who didn't cast you for Annie? Those morons. A, a <laughs> drama teacher who actually came up to me. I'm not kidding. And now I think back on it, I'm like, what a crazy thing to tell a 12 year old. Um, she came up to me after we just spent, you know, like the whole second semester of eighth grade working on this. I love this, by the way. Um, working on this musical, which I was not cast as Annie and I was devastated. Um, I played Tessie, which is like, she's a lisp, I can't even remember. She's like a you friend. You don't have her fully, yeah, she's one oh, of the orphans. yes, you know yes, that one? yes, yes. Um, and she came up to me and she like, she was like, great job everyone, and she took me up aside and she was like, you should have been Annie. And I was like, whoa, what is, I'm about to leave this school, and this is what, this is the ending note that like, I should have been, like, kind, it's like, kind of a compliment, but also, you could have been great. Kid. Kid, yeah. But so, Kid, you got a career. Yeah. <laughs> I just squashed it, but you yeah. got a career. <laughs> I realized this. Um, I took a musical improv class, which only helped. And my boyfriend was like, oh God, oh God, no, it's already so bad. Now it's going to be like, like, like clinically bad, just narrating your life in song. But the teacher said something so profound. And she was like, song happens when the feelings are too great for words. Ooh. I was like, oh my God, that's genius. And that is why, that's why I'm constantly singing. That's why you sing. Right? I prepped this little tag for you. The cool thing is, clearly, these are disposable. You can like make these tags all day long. Like it's DIY, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> this goes down <laughs> We're making however it up. you want. Yeah, and so like, I think maybe it's a good idea that these are so temporary because like each year, like emotions and words are fleeting, they're transient, they come and go. They come and go, right? and they reinvent themselves. Yes, and each year Hanukkah could mean something different. So like you could take these off and put different, different words on each year. Yes. Yeah. I love this. So, this right? would be where we'd start singing a song. This would be, oh, <laughs> the menorah, the fleeting words on the menorah. <laughs> I can sing it all day. <laughs> Here you go. Here is, okay. I will let you tie it on to the Yay. pink unicorn inspired okay. Wait, ninth should it, bottle. Should it, is it cute? Look yes. good? Yes. 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 Ah. It's, it's so many things. This is an emotionary time. It's like, it's cute. It's gorgeous. It's like meaningful. I mean, it's so many things. It can be, oh man, to be cute and meaningful at the same time. That's a treasure. This is every girl's dream. This is every, every Jewish girl's dream. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, this is a for real hug. This, this is it for really real. is. Yeah, thank you so much for coming out. I had so much fun. Thank you so much for having me. This was like, this, this is the best. <laughs> yes, this is the best. This I is this. Ina Cher, actress, author of The Emotionary. <laughs> you can make your own words. Leave them in the comments below. And DIY this menorah. Anyone can. Steps and supplies. It's a Michael's haul. Just go grab your glass bottles, craft it up. I can't wait to see you next week. We're in the middle of holiday, and you're going to be thrilled with what we're making. 
See you soon. Hey there, I'm with Jeannie Mai, Hi, and guys. it's almost holiday time. I know, it right, came can't. so fast. So fast, Halloween, That's thanks, I'm full said. of turkey. <laughs> that was good. I know, it was like a little, I'm still I was happy like, about it. Okay, go on. <laughs> Got it. <laughs>